out of all of Robin Williams' films, this is easily one of his most emotional, and I've seen every single film he's done, and sadly uh, will ever do. Jacob the Liar is the one that probably made me cry the most alongside Dead Poet Society. This is a beautiful film and a very necessary film. I'm not going to give any spoilers. I think you really need to watch this film to truly be encapsulated by how magnificent it is and how essential this film is. But if you just want to know whether or not it's worth watching, absolutely. It is, it, it's gorgeous. It's such a magnificent film. So this was released in 1999 and it's director, directed by Peter Kasovitz and written by Peter Kasovitz based on the book by Jurek Becker. And Robin Williams plays our titular character Jacob. And the description from IMDb is as follows. During World War II, an ordinary inhabitant of a ghetto fakes news about Allied offensives to inspire hope for other victims of the nasty regime. Nasty regime? Well, that's a fraudulent Nazi regime. And I think that's pretty accurate. Basically, he people think he has access to a radio because they're not allowed to listen to the radio because obviously it's, you know, they risk propaganda if they're listening to the wrong stations or the wrong news. But people think he has a radio or access to one. And he doesn't. But, as the description said, he begins to fake news to make them feel positive about things, even though, obviously, Nazi Germany was growing and growing in strength. He was telling the inhabitants of the ghetto that, you know, the Allies were fighting strong, they were going to, you know, get the axes out, and everything was going to be okay. And he was their source of hope. This man, Jacob, was a powerhouse. He was fantastic. Welling up just thinking about it. I feel like every community needs a Jacob. Somebody to just, even if it's not true, just make everybody feel better and raise their spirits. He knew a lot of those people were going to die soon. He knew a lot of them would not live much longer. Why spend your last days in misery? He made them feel happy. And I cannot think of a more perfect actor than Robin Williams to play a character whose sole purpose is to make others around him feel happy even when he himself is going through a lot of trouble. That's Robin Williams. That's his legacy. And this is just perfect. I am getting emotional. <laughs> This has a 6.6 .6 out of 10 on IMDb, which I think is fair, but I would have said at least a 7. I mean, personally, I would have gone 8 out of 10 upwards. It's such a raw film. But 6 out of 6.6 .6 is a respectable rating for IMDb. My eyes are actually welling up. It's a lovely, beautiful film. It's quite long. It's about two hours. But the time will pass by so quickly. It's more emotional than it is action-packed. It is a drama film. But I find that rather than it being quite, you know, keeping you on the edge of your seat, it'll actually be a lot more emotional. You will love it if you haven't seen it. I think it's one of Williams' most underrated films. That's not to say that it's underrated in general. You know, it's, it's a pretty well-received film. But if I were to ask somebody to name their top three Williams films, I don't think this one would really ever come up. But for me... While I love his comedies, I find that his more emotional films are a lot more effective. And Jacob the Liar is no exception. If you've seen the film, please let me know what you think of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, that's perfectly fine, but I'd be really interested to know why you didn't like it. Personally, I think the narrative development is very good. The setting is really good. I don't know exactly how historically accurate it is. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, definitely try and get hold of it. It's, well, on IMDb it's rated PG-13. I expect that'll be a 12 in the UK. I don't think it'll be a 15. But I could be wrong. Let me know what you think of it. If you haven't seen it, please try and get hold of it. You will love it.